All right, so a new reveal trailer came out for the Pokemon Sword and Shield games coming out on November 15th, and it is a new Pokemon known as Surfetched. Now, this is a evolution to Farfetch'd, and let's go through it real quick. So, Sir Farfetch'd is known as the Wild Duck Pokemon, and it is a plain fighting type with a height of 2 point, uh, not 2.7, but 2 feet and 7 inches, weight 257.9 pounds, and its ability is steadfast. Let me read its Pokedex entry. Only Farfetch'd that have survived many battles can attain this evolution. When this Pokemon's leak withers, it will retire from combat. So, it is confirmed to be an evolution of Farfetch'd. In what means, I don't know, level up or a specific item or a specific place. Or, you, you know, the latter one. Uh, so, basically, um, so I'm just going to re read some of the descriptions. So, a noble knight that fights fair and square. The Farfetch'd of the Galar region can evolve into Surfetch'd after the experiencing many battles. They are calm and collected, and they make a point of always battling fairly. They are so noble in battle that they are often chosen as a motif of painting, or motif, there you go, motif of painting. Of particular note is a painting famous in the Galar region that depicts a duel between Surfresh and Escavalier. Cool, okay. A replaceable league has seen many battles. In battle, Surfetch uses the sharp stack of its leak as a lance and the thick leaves as a shield. It maintains the leak over the span of many years and treasures it more than anything. When its leak finally withers, Surfetch will leave the battlefield and retire from battling entirely. So he is a noble knight in the Galar region is what it's implying. With all the description that it's giving it, it's he's a noble knight, so like a a just a noble knight. <laughs> Uh, now, he has been confirmed to have an actual signature move just for uh, Surfetched, and it's called Meteor Assault. Meteor Assault is a new move introduced in these games that only Surfetched can learn. Surfetched points its leak at the opponent and charges towards them at a great speed. This move is devastatingly powerful, however, it appears that the move also puts great strain on Surfetched. It will be unable to take action immediately after using this move. So think of it as a physical hyper beam. I'm guessing it's going to have at least 150 damage, which is going to be really killer if he is an attack based Pokemon, which I'm guessing he will be, uh, but I'm pretty sure he's going to have some good defense seeing as he has a shield enough. Uh, that's actually all to cover today. There's not much besides just Surfetch. And with just a few days, and when I mean a few days, I mean at least 40 days or less for Pokemon Sword and Shield to come out, there's going to be a good amount of uh, leaks as well as trailers coming out. And don't forget that we're also going to be having one on August, not August, uh, <laughs> September 29, I believe. And uh, we'll see what goes down right there on that day. So thank you guys for watching and I will see Whoa, 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 stop right there. Post editing Xavier here. As I was editing the video, I've noticed that on the bottom left of the trailer, you can actually see that Surfetched is a Pokemon Sword exclusive, meaning this adds more to Pokemon Shield. Will Farfetched have a second evolution just exclusive to Shield? Or will there be a different Pokemon that is its counter? as the shield exclusive well see you guys see you guys on the next video on my channel make sure to stay tuned and like and subscribe if you already haven't bye hey guys thanks for watching if you're interested in more of my videos don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video and also don't forget to check out these channels down here as well as this series right here thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time